Today I am introducing Creative Commons, but before jumping to the concept, we needed to understand a bit about copyright. Copyright is a type of intellectual property that gives its owner the exclusive right to make copies of a creative work, usually for a limited time. The copyright law protects both individual and corporate creators' ownership over their creations. But it is very important for copyright to expire because the creation can then enter the public domain where the knowledge and intelligence can be freely used by other creators. But copyright laws can hinder this important driver of our collective growth. Here is a very famous example. In the USA, the expiry date of the copyright protection of Mickey Mouse has been prolonged two times after its creation in 1928. First, it was bound to the 1909 Copyright Act, which gave um, creators rights to their work for 28 years and the possibility to renew for another 28 years. After that time passed, Creative works will enter the public domain, free for anyone to use, based on the law. Mickey Mouse should have been released to the public domain, according to this act, in 1984. However, the 1976 Copyright Act was released. It gave the individual creator author the, uh, the copyright protection duration of their lifespan plus 50 years. For copyright authors, it is 75 five years. The Mickey Mouse copyright protection extended to 2003. And again to 2023, after the Sony Bono Copyright Term Extension Act came to effect on October 27, in 1998. This act was also called as Mickey Mouse Protection Act because people now cannot ignore the lobbying power of the Disney company anymore. Up till today, the 90-year-old Mickey Mouse is still not in the public domain, but it is said that after 2023, it will finally be. The Stanford law professor Lawrence Lessig believed that the 1998 Copyright Extension Act was unconstitutional. Together with Eric Aldrat, they challenged the act in the court against John Ashcroft, but eventually lost the case. But it inspired the creation of Creative Commons as a non-profit organization in 2002, and it published the Creative Commons license. The Creative Commons deals with the fundamental tension between the expanding internet-enabled online content, creating and sharing, and the rigid and outdated copyright laws worldwide. Creative Commons, in short, as CC, now goes beyond as a legal licensing tool and a non-profit organization, but becomes a global movement. On a very practical level, everyone can engage with CC by using its legal licensing tool, CC licenses. If you are still confused about how to properly license your creation under CC licenses, you can use the very convenient CC license chooser tool. You can go to this domain and you will find six types of licenses available for your creation. To put it in simple terms, to understand the six CC licenses, you need to understand the meaning of these five logos first. Because the CC licenses are a combination of these five logos. Afterwards, it will be much simpler to understand the six CC licenses and use them properly. All licenses start with the CC logo. All licenses ask for proper attribution to the original author, 
So you will always see this person logo in all CC licenses. The equal symbol here means you can copy, distribute, and transmit the work as long as you do not make any adaption to the original work. The circle symbol here means you can make adaption but only when willing to share it under the same license as the original work holds. This, the money symbol here means the work doesn't allow commercial use purposes. In the following list of six CC licenses, the first two licenses are free culture licenses. The first one is Attribution 4.0 International. It allows you to use and make adaption to the creation as long as you give appropriate credit to the licensor. The second is Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. It asks anybody who wants to share and make adaption to the creation should distribute their work under the same license. Starting from this third license in the list, I'm introducing the not free CC licenses. The third license is the Attribution Non-Commercial 4.0 International License. It asks for author attribution and non-commercial purpose of use. The next one is the Attribution No Derivatives 4.0 International License. It asks for author attribution and no alteration to the original work when sharing. The Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike 4.0 International License asks for author attribution, non-commercial purpose of use, and only allow adaption to the creation when distributed under the same license. The final one is attribution non-commercial no derivatives 4.0 international license, which asks for author attribution, no alteration to the original work and non-commercial purpose of use. So the CC licenses allow content creators to share their work under more permissive term. They promote the open licensing practice in critical domains like publishing and education, where the knowledge of human beings is most distributed. They are raising awareness of the public regarding public sharing, open knowledge, and human collaboration in public domain. Ultimately, the CC licenses are to allow everyone to freely contribute and share knowledge, but meanwhile, restrict anyone from legally owning the shared culture. Since its publishing in 2002, the CC licensed works have been dramatically increasing to nearly 2 billion works worldwide. There are multiple ways to further engage with the CC community. You can join the CC Global Network as a member. If there is a chapter available in your country, you can join as a member. If there isn't, you can consider starting one. There are three platforms inviting participation and contribution. They are CC Open Glam platform, GLAM here represents galleries, libraries, archives, and museums. The other two are CC Copyright Platform and CC Open Education Platform. You can install the Slack app on your computer or your mobile phone and subscribe to these three platforms channels using the three hashtags that you see on the screen. You can also subscribe to CC uh, newsletter and uh, you can also um, become a CC certificate facilitator. The detail you can read, pause the video now and read on, on the screen. It's directly, um, it's directly copied from the website of the um, Creative Common Global Network website.
As mentioned, you can also subscribe to the CC newsletter using the um, using the URL presented on the screen now. And you can also consider joining the next CC Global Summit. That is the end of the presentation. I hope through this video you get to know more about Creative Commons. Thank you very much.